Hey everyone, Tragic here with some cards that I picked up at the local Goodwill. I often stop in and try to see if they have magic cards and they almost never do. Uh, so this is actually the first time I've actually been able to buy a promising, somewhat promising, uh, little stack here for only $2.99. Um, I actually even donated a dollar so I'm raising the level of difficulty up to 399 to see if I can break even on this it is going to be tough since it looks like um, it's pretty beat up you know I might be lucky to get some moderate play ones out of my heavy play stack here and um, at that price I didn't really like look through very much to see what was here other than this a freet on the front which is nothing um, so hopefully I can maybe find something kind of decent. There are a couple of sleeves in the back. Maybe they're good. That's what it is. That's what I'm doing today. I'm going to open up this $2.99 Goodwill mystery lot of magic cards. Wish me luck. Here they are. Um, I definitely like older cards. And... <laughs> They're pretty bad. All right, so this one right on the top here is Wavy Gravy. And got some mountains from Odyssey. Got a Scorching Missile. And some basic forests. Another Scorching Missile. Some Ice Age here. Got some Mirage. Got a re Revised Edition Reverse Polarity. So mostly commons here. Spinal Graph from Tempest looking pretty bad. Yeah, is this all... Very beat up. Is there anything in here that might be worth four bucks? Well, that was used as a Douthy Horror at one point, so that's, uh, we know these definitely saw a lot of use. Got some Fallen Empires. Got the Shackles. Tactician at yeah, all commons. Nothing big here. <laughs> Um, let's see, so all the circles are there. Indestructible, Circle of Protection, Black, Transmogrifying, Listed, we got an Uncommon out of it. Not very good. Let's see, Drain Life is probably nothing. Pit Imp, Frozen Shade, Cemetery Gate, Protection from Black. It's a 0-5 wall. Shaman. A Norit, that's an uncommon. There's a Foreign Legends, wow, interesting. Um, I don't know if that counts as a Foreign Black Border or if it's a um, uh, uh, Renaissance, maybe. A Miro di Spine di Frisia, I don't know what that means. I might have to look that one up. It, I don't think it's a rare or anything. Warriors Charge from Portal is a no. There's a card from the Dark, Pikeman. That's uh, something. Unerring Sling. I don't think that's a rare. I might check it though. So far, I am not getting rich. Another Douthy Horror. So that was a big theme for this guy's deck. Uh, let's see. That's foreign. I can't read it. Um, some kind of graveyard. I can't remember what that card is. Pyromania. Is that one worth looking up? Maybe. Tainted Peak. Might be worth looking up, actually. Wow. Yeah, pretty bad. I mean, these are just well into heavy play and even damaged. And that's about what I expected. Some morale from the dark. Pretty bad. Even a pretty bad great card would maybe fetch a little bit. Well, there's actually a rare here. A Petrodon from Scourge. Right next to a Petrovark, right? Uh, definitely like a bulk rare, I'm sure, but we'll pull it and take a look at it. Um, some swamps. The Volcanic Spray. Cave people. Temporary Insanity is absolutely what I have when I decide to pick up stuff like this. But hey, I mean, for three, four bucks, kind of fun. Seize the Day, actually, is an okay kind of rare. 
from Odyssey. This one's definitely like heavy play. It's actually not too bad compared to some of these. So I'm gonna pull that one. And I don't think a beast attack is anything. Reckless charge, that's me always recklessly charging in. Sylvan Might. Chatter of the Squirrel. So some of the Squirrel cards, and yeah, Deep Reconnaissance might be an okay card. Some of the Squirrel cards, I don't think that one, but they might be kind of okay. Ooh, that's a that's an unlimited burrowing. And yeah, it's still pretty beat up, but it's a little bit better than heavy play, I think. The front looks nice. Hmm. Pull that one. A Flaming Gambit. I might check it, I don't think so. Someone's little collection from way back in the day. So this was in a sleeve circle of protection red. Anything else behind it? No, nothing big there. A chill? It might actually be a little bit. Red spells cost an additional two to play. Anti-burn, well, the beat in the sleeve, it's in kind of okay condition. I'll pull it aside and take a look at it. Abbey Matron, I I don't know all the rares from Homelands. That might have been one of them, but I don't think it's anything big. Another unlimited Circle of Protection Blue, very interesting. And there's a couple cards here, neither of which are any good. That is an unlimited. Pull that one. Great. All right. Anything, anything of interest. A tainted peak again, so I think that might in mint condition be a buck or two. And I could be wrong, we'll find out here at the end. I'll scan up my few cards here that might be kind of okay. Deep Reconnaissance I think is an okay card. Uh, I don't know, pull the chatter. The Titan. Lots of comments. Beast attack. I don't think that's anything. Aronson's Aura. Nope. Giant spider. Man, there's like something fell off of that. A respite. This is like a fog. It's nothing really big. There's another chill. I think I'll pull that and check. Might be a little bit. All right, this is it. The last of the stack. Are is there anything good and rare here at the end of the uh, Chronicles? Elephant is not. Builder's Bane has a proxy writing on it. Nantuko Mentor. It's a rare. A couple rares in here. Ah, it's actually a Legends Indestructible Aura. I think it's a common. Temporary Sanity again. I'm going to pull that one to just check it. Engulfing Flames. One damage target creature can't be regenerated in flashback. I'm going to check that one. It's a revised circle. That's I think nothing. Alarum is, I don't think, anything. Hydroblast, actually, there's a little bit of pay dirt. That card is worth maybe a dollar. Blue Ward, Rancid Earth, Spined Worm. And a Druid Lyricist. That's it. So, let's uh, see if any of this was worth it. I'll be back here shortly. Alright, let's see it through to the end. And check out my stack here. Was there anything worth keeping here? Alright, what is this? Is it Rampant Growth, I think? Rampant Growth is just a common. It's nothing. Move all my stuff out of the way here. Hydroblast, fifth edition. Not that one. It's actually a buck twenty-five, and it's in kind of, sort of okay condition. So there's hope. Engulfing flames. Nope. Temporary insanity. As I mentioned before, I have that indestructible aura. Nothing big there. It is a Legends card. I'll set it aside though. Nantuko Mentor. Only 39 cents for a rare. I'll keep it here. A chill. Nope. It's not as good as I thought it was. Chatter of the Squirrel. 
Nothing big there. Deep Reconnaissance. Nope, that one's no good either. Tainted Peak. There we go. 278 for a Tainted Peak. I think there was another one. Um, not in great condition. Circle of Protection Blue from Unlimited. Only 44 cents. And Shill was nothing. Flaming Gambit. No. Burrowing. Unlimited. 80 cents. It almost makes my minimum, but not quite. Deep Reconnaissance was nothing. Seize the day. 423 minus a bunch. It's actually, yeah, it's got a lot of edging, so like heavy play on that one, but uh, yeah, I tried that one up. Petrodon should be pretty much nothing. Tainted Peak again. Bing. Pyromania. Unerring Sling. And uh, whatever that is, it's a wall of caltrops. Gotcha. It's not a real legend. So this is it. Here's the the payoff right there. Uh, <laughs> subtract all of that with all of this. Maybe it's you know 13, 14 bucks minus 60 percent, more than four bucks. I feel like I uh, I I won on this somehow. <laughs> anyway, mainly just did this for fun. Uh, this is just my thing. I check out the Goodwills, mostly online, of course. Uh, that's where all the, the big stuff is. But I pop in every once in a while, hoping to find a little lot like this. Here it is. This is what you get. So, anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, comment and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. See you later, YouTube.